All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the <coughs> Manchester United career mode. Um, we're in uh, October, and we have a game against Milan to start off everything. I got to kind of rotate for this. Um, they're already down to no points. Um, we drew the last game against Benno Kiev. So I'm, and here's the thing. So this month we have three Premier League games to play. I'm just not gonna be able to get to all of them. Um, and I don't want to split the month in half, like, cause I just don't feel like that's like a good time to do it. Cause like usually December is like the time I usually do that. Um, but with certainly with this month, you know, we don't, we got Milan, we have Liverpool, and we have like one of these games to play. But we could have the Carabao Cup going forward. And obviously this month's really big because we have these three games to play. So there's a lot of um. A lot of big fixtures coming up uh, over the next couple of months. But right now, uh, I'm going to play this game, try to put Milan down a peg, and then I can sim this game. Hopefully, even though they're top of the group, but I'll sim this game. I'll play one of these three Premier League teams, depending on who's the best out of the three uh, at the particular time. Um, and then I'll play Arsenal in the Carabao Cup game. Um, and that's what we'll do for this episode. So... Um, to start off with Milan, um, I know we'll have to rotate pretty heavily for this. Um, I've never played Milan before, too, so I'm also kind of excited to play them. So here's what I'm thinking. So automatically, I look at this team, like, almost everybody's tired, so... I mean, we could go through this game. I think we could probably get through it without having to worry about the substitutions. I just feel like Odri Zola and Shaw will get tired too quickly. <clears throat> I mean, so I, I could just go with everyone. Ro I could just rotate just like like a little bit out of this out of this group and just keep it still with the starters. So, what I'll do is, I'll have Delo and, and Alexander Arnold start this game. I'll have Bai come off the bench with Lindelof. So Lindelof and Hernandez will start the low and Alexander. That's my back four. Um, midfield wise, I'll go with Koke on the right. I think he is suited for the right midfield spot. Yeah, he is. So we'll play him there. Midfield wise, I guess we could go with Pogba or Milinkovic Savic. Um, I'll go with Rabiot to go there. I'll have Milinkovic Savic drop. Pogba can play up. He's got the higher overall, and then Ronaldo. I think I think I think I can have him start this game just just because he's got the better stamina. Um, I could play him behind. Um, now that I think about you know how this team is set up, yeah, I I, I don't mind playing Ronaldo there. He he could play there. He could play in the middle. Let's see what he does. Um, so yeah, Koke, Rashford, Rabio, Ronaldo, Delo, Lindelof, Alexander Arnold will all come in. Uh, these guys will all sit on the bench for this game, and that'll be okay. So hopefully with this rotated side, still some great starters in there, we can do some damage. Hopefully put Mil Milan down a peg. a legendary matchup right here man we've had a we've had a good we've i think the last time i played ac milan in the champions league was um it was a pretty big game I think AC Milan play a 4-4-2 as well. I'm pretty sure they do. Wow, that fit through. That fit through. Yeah, it looks like a 4-4-2 then. 
as I as I see the comments here, I call it. Holding there for a while. Oh, God. I was a Paris in Newcastle, yeah. Oh, and Alexi Sanchez. Why didn't I think of this? Oh, my gosh. Alexi Sanchez is facing his old team. Oh, my gosh. I just realized that. So we really have to go back and face Alexi Sanchez. I don't know why that's passed over me. Oh, that was a terrible idea. Well, the fact that we're already down 1 0 is not a good thing. Darn a room on the guy we're going to buy. Look at that. There's so much going on here. Got the guy that we're buying a goalkeeper next season playing against us, so. And that guy's got to determine whether he wants to be in the Champions League or not. Wow. That's crazy. He's got to literally fight to put his team in the Champions League. <laughs> nice goal from Pogba. He's got to literally fight to keep his team in the Champions League while also playing against us who are trying to get into the Champions League. It's like, oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Talk about me missing the ball on that one. What's really going on? <clears throat> Jeez, my sniffle ain't getting good. I'm still sick. Oh wow. Oh, I thought I was going to get the Pogba. Oh, shit. If they score from this, it's my fault. Yeah, good defense. And if they score from that, that's completely my fault. Nice punch away. Nice stop from Koke. Nice takeaway. There we go. Set Lukaku long. Turn. Shoots. Oh, it's deflected away. Shit. Is that Wilfred Saha? Or Man United player? He got that. Look at Pogba dragging all the way back. Nice. No! But Ronaldo, how did he not? How did he not get his foot off of that? Oh, that was a goal. That was a freaking goal. Oh my god, now that's a terrible turnover. That is freaking awful that we, we literally let that go. That is awful. That is dreadful. That is so dreadful right there. 
God, this is just not good. I just let the pace get through that. No one's going forward. Like I need someone to go in. Oh, why would you go there? Oh, wow. That was lucky. Please give me a goal. Please give me a goal. Please. That was a terrible fucking... Why are they taking so long to end this? God. Ugh, that's not a good... Ha if we lose this game, I'm going to be pissed. I really am. I might not be able to play a Premier League game. I might have to sim all of them and just... Go into the next Champions League game. I might even sim the Carabao Cup game with Arsenal. I really might. I might sim that one just because it's not a competition I'm worried about. I've already won it. I really want to get the treble down the way and get the Premier League games solid because we need to win those. We can't skip too many of those. I can't leave that to the mercy of the computer. Here we go. We got something going here. What the fuck? Rashford, what are you kicking at? Oh, Jesus, they just beat me over the top. Oh. Son of a bitch. Oh my gosh, Milan just took it to us, man. We were, we were, oh, this is not a good game. I don't know what the. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This game is literally playing with me. It's playing with me. I literally fired it barely, and it went against the post. I knew it. I knew something was going to happen. This game is completely screwing with me. Completely screwing with me. Oh, my God. I cannot believe that. Get off your freaking feet. Wow. Where is my back four? Alexi Sanchez just came off. There's Ronaldo. I've got the ultra attacking us. I have no choice. Jesus Christ. No. Wow. 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 This is not good. This is just bad. This is just bad. This is just really, really bad. I'm going back to balance. No point in trying. I've lost this game. Come on, do something. This 
There's no pace in this team. There's no pace. Everyone's fucking tired. Like, what are you doing? Like, why? How are you this fucking tired? Penalty. No, it's not. I thought it was a penalty. Oh, this game is crap, man. Complete, unadulterated crap. I mean, everyone's fucking tired. Like, are you kidding me? Like, what? What have you been trying to fucking do? Like, how can you be fucking tired? I'm putting the back four out there just because I don't I don't know what else to fucking do to protect my freaking goal difference at this point. This is terrible. Probably the worst game. This is the worst game I think I've played ever in this career mode. I'm trying to find some fucking. I need to just go forward, keep the ball, get somewhere in a faster amount of time. There's Shaw. He's got a little more speed about him. Or something like another move. I just want someone to make a move. Just anyone. Just make a move towards the box. Oh my god, come on. I just want to take the ball from him. I don't know what the hell. Just the, the attacking of this team was so bad. I don't this, that this is the last time I will ever fuse this combination with the team. I think I need better fullbacks, man. Just for like the backup point. I I just don't think I have. I need more. I I need to buy more. Honestly, in the games I could have used Ronaldo and I scored a little bit with him, he's not really impressed me. I might honestly let him go. Which sounds crazy. I just I'm not I'm not pleased with him in this game at all. This Milan defense just just crushed me. Come on, they just keep hounding me. Oh my God. Everyone's just played so bad. This is just terrible. No pace. No pace. No rhythm. Where was that going? Like... Just awful. And I, I don't even know if I can even afford to send the freaking OM game. I'm down. Oh, God. That was an absolutely horrible way to start this episode off. I didn't expect to play like that. I really didn't. Oh, by the way, I brought Joel Pereira back as a extra goalkeeper to hold my my bench. Let's look at the monthly scouting updates here. Not much in Austria. Yeah, not much in Germany. Yeah, not much in France either. So, uh, the Premier League teams that we have to face are Everton, Wolverhampton, and Crystal Palace. So, Everton are in third, so they seem like the most likely a team I'm going to play if I were to play it and if I'm going to pick them in the league. 
So we'll sim this game. I'll play the Everton game. I'll sim the OM game. The Marseille game, uh, to be more specific, and I'll play Arsenal. Um, you lost to fucking Crystal Palace. Are you kidding me? What team was out there? The freaking starters. Oh, it's so bad. Getting close to Mensa, his drills back. Wow. Two losses to start the episode off. That's great. The low goes up to an 81. Hopefully that will help. He's been crap for me lately. At least you know in two seasons he becomes a first choice right back if you give him the training. Or left back for that matter. Alright, so Everton we will play. Um, I think for all intents and purposes, I don't want to sim this game. Just because I feel like... Even though it's a cup game we're not particularly worried about because it doesn't really matter towards our treble, you know, our treble goal that we're trying to reach. Um, it's a title we're trying to defend. So I, I don't want to let this go to a sim game. I'd rather sim this game. I just That's just what I'd rather do. That's just where my head's at. Play this game because they're in third. You know, if we catch a win, we get 17 points. You know, we're only two points behind them if we can keep them down. We just have to play a better game. We have to. We have to play a better game. I would think with a full, full strength, fully fit squad, we should do better. Everyone's at a higher overalls. You see at Rashford 84, so he's getting better. Let's hope this works better for us all. Let's go. These were at home. Best defensive team. Only have allowed four goals. Great. For a team that has not scored consistently this year, and we brought in people who specifically do that. Gosh, to bring back Alessi Sanchez, he was a better goal scorer. Oh, for a draw, you yeah, please I don't want to get a blowout. Nope.
Nope. I can't remember who I played in the Carabao Cup final. Was it last year? Was it Everton? I can't even remember. Well, I don't know. I remember if it was Everton or Leicester City. I think it was Leicester. There we go, Martial. Martial, goal. Ah, oh. just that Martial goal always seems to make me feel better. Always, it always marks that it's gonna be a good freaking day. That's why I love him on that right side, man. He gets that little burst and you just get him out there, and catch him. He gets a little bit of speed, just pops that right foot. Puts it in, man. Two goals in the Premier League this season. So, I mean, hopefully we can try and get the goal scoring up for us. Wasn't look, I wasn't looking for that. That wasn't my game plan. I, that completely just went, went awry. Oh, that's a terrible tackle. That's gonna be a yellow. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my God. Still can't mark anybody. I literally saw Griezmann like blowing his foot, and I'm like, oh, that's going to go in. with that goal. Oh. 
Oh, fighting to just get 2 0 on Epton. Granted, oh, what the fuck was that pass? Oh, he blocked it, you little bitch. See, this is what I miss about having uh, Sanchez do all my kicks. I had tall people in the box. I don't get that. Oh, my God. Come on, make better passes, people. Please. Just press a button, look in a direction, next thing you know it's going to an opponent. Oh, Jesus. That's mine. Alright, 1-0 at halftime, that's not bad. We can work with that. We can definitely work with that. <sighs> Got a good punch. Ah, come on with that touch. There we go. Got some speed. Oh, oh man. Sergey could literally not get the footing he needed. What a terrible kick by that goalkeeper. I literally did the overhead through ball, and I was hoping that would get... That was a terrible idea. I was hoping it would get Sergey to get a chance to get a foot to it. And he just lost it into the goal, but he, he was so tied up with the defender, he couldn't get it off. Yep, good run. <gasps> oh, that went in. Own goal, that went in. They screwed that up. Ah, oh, that just wasn't good, quick enough. So, um, you know, while well, I got a chance, you know, to chat up, and we're in a, in a slightly comfortable lead. So, uh, obviously you guys know about uh, Mourinho being sacked. Um, by the time this video drops on the website, you know, it'll be well after the news, but while we're talking about it. Um, so, 
Ole Gunnar Sol Solskjaer is the uh, manager, which is awesome. I really could have done that so much better. Um, so today, Michael Carrick was uh, on the training ground with the players. And um, he and Pogba, son of a bitch. He, um, he and Pogba apparently clashed when... Um, when Pogba was um, sort of screaming around saying he had uh, quote unquote he fucked with the wrong with the wrong baller, and you know, Carrick took offense to that and literally reprimanded the dude. It's like, listen, no one's bigger than the club, man. So I don't know who he said. I don't know who the hell you think you are. Essentially, no one's bigger than the club, and rightly so. I don't think Pogba needs to be at United anymore. He's a great player. But God, does he have a crappy attitude? You know, he got so big. I think he got bigger than himself. I get, and you know what? I think you understand now why Sir Alex Ferguson sold him. I think knowing he was going to be a great player, but I think I, Fergie must have known he was someone who just would have been too much of a headache to deal with. You know, I think that in the end. As great as a player Pogba is, I can't get a freaking solid pass to go to anyone. Um, Pogba really thinks he's bigger than the club, and I think that's a problem. I think that's one of the things Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is going to root out, is those, is those players who literally think they're bigger than the club. I think he's going to root those type of players out. I think he's going to make sure they're not at the club anymore. I think this is a chance for him to evaluate who's on the squad and he's going to mark down, you know, keep them, get rid of him no matter how good or bad they are. Um, and I think that's necessary. I think that's a necessary evil that needs to happen, unfortunately. Pogba is not proven he's worth his price tag. He's just proven that he's a good player who's worth a lesser price tag who has some character issues and some behavior issues. That'll make him clash with managers. And, you know, if he clashes with the next manager... You know, because they'll definitely keep him beyond, you know, beyond, uh, beyond, uh, oh, uh, so scare. Um, they have no choice. They have to. But I do believe that if he clashes with the next manager, they will sell him. And they'll sell him at, they don't care how much they can get for him. Just to get him off of the books. Because he has just not been what they've needed. That's it. Well, they got there in the end. Mighty, mighty close. Got the right result. Yeah, I think that's too much. Alright, so we got past them. We're on the bottom of the freaking list, and they won both their games. Alright, let's see if there's anybody we can train here.
All right, so stats are going up all around the board for most of our guys. 78 and 77 now for our two young boys. We're going to give them some better numbers, honestly. I'm just going to look in here and see if we can punt for them. Trying to see if there's any other numbers we can hand off. Give him number twenty eight. All right, so we're going to do the one thing I don't want to do. We're going to sim this game. Pray we could get a result. If we don't get a result, I'm pretty sure we're going to be fighting for a Europa League spot. I'm going to regret this. I know I will. One, one draw. This is pathetic. Oh, we got to do so much better than Champions League, man. All right, so we'll send this uh, Wolves game. We're going to have to definitely use the backup team for this game. So many away games. And then um, we'll play the uh, Arsenal game with the full strength uh, first team. 1-0 victory, 10 minutes in. That's all we needed. Alright, so. Arsenal versus Man United Carabao Cup game. I'm going to come up player training. So many names rejected. And it's an away game. Oh, my God. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, well, we're all set and ready to go, so let's play it. All right, let's get started. Let's get it started.
Got it. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Try to curl it. I don't know what Rashford was doing back there, but thank God he was. Rashford again is way back. I like it. Ah. Uh. What the hell, Sergey? Like, get to the ball. This ball watching it. Damn it. Oh, terrible. Oh, couldn't get the placement right. I got that. What the fuck was that pass? Oh my god, I cannot get this ball forward. We're missing the touches, we're missing just simple touches. Oh, he tr oh. Blocked. Come on, make better passes, people. Ah, uh, come on. This is frustrating. Get off me. Got it. Got it. Jesus Christ. Christ, that was a wild, wild first half just for a 1-0 lead, man. We were going at it. Alright, so we got one up on him.
Oh, yes, sir. Come on. Get ahead of him. Look at that pace. That pace. Look at that pace! Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Oh, Jesus. Oh, come on. Let me get one last shot at it. Oh, God. Shit. Oh, Jesus. Lincoln was savage. I thought he was even more in the middle. Ah. Why he would go to that person when Griezmann was wide open in the middle. I don't know why I wouldn't go to him. Uh, I'm 
of Trevor in Ottawa. Just go to the left. Yeah, why not? Got it. Hat trick. Oof. <clears throat> Alright, sorry about the pause there. I was trying to answer a text. But hey, look, check it out. 3 0. Probably one of our better games played, but it's the most convincing 3 0 victory I feel for me. But I'll take it. So it looks like Leicester. Uh, we have advanced. Not many good teams left in this competition, dude. It's going to be an easy opponent for us. We took out the most difficult. Leicester is the only one that's left. Somebody knocks them out, we could be on our way to facing them. Alright, and then we're into the next month. Look at the U squad. 
And it'll leave us up on Wofford. We're in top four, though, so at least we got somewhere in the Premier League. Um, and we got some new scouting reports. We can go through more of those. Oh, let's see here. I really haven't found anything good in here. Nope, nothing here. All right, so we're in November. Um, we're doing okay in the Premier League. We're doing good in the um, Carabao Cup. We're not doing good in Champions League, so we really got to focus on that. Um, so we'll definitely be playing. And look at what we got to play. We got to play Arsenal, and we got to play Man City, and we got to play. Oh, God. We got to play three of the top Premier League teams and play these games. I mean, I just played Arsenal. I just beat them 3-0. I might end up simming that game. I mean, Man City are the highest, and then Tottenham is down there with Arsenal. They're in 11th and 12th. You know, I know this sounds crazy. I might sim the Spurs in Arsenal games, play both Champions League games, and play Man City. I really might. <laughs> it would be crazy. Uh, this one's at home, and this one's also at home. This one's away. That's why I want to play this. I could win both these games. This one here and this one right here. I need to play this game, and I need to play this game. Um, but yeah, I'll sim these three games. I'll play this one and play both Champions League games. Sounds crazy, but I will do it. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today, man. I got a lot to think about with the...